Why, hello there, Exile. Today we're showcasing tier 16 maps in a Sunder setup on 45C. Now, why are we playing Sunder? No, it's not because we're a special snowflake, though we are, but I actually think it has a lot of potential. What you're seeing here will have 40% more damage, actually, because of a new keystone that they added, which gives us 40% more if our accuracy is above our life, but we cannot crit. But we're not critting anyway, so we don't really care about critting. It's a nice little band-aid to the Juggernaut. Now, the Juggernaut is a really defensive ascendancy. So it's great for new players who really just don't like dying all the time. Or anybody who just struggles in content. With more and more budget, you're going to be able to push into 6k life. You're going to be able to get double or triple the damage than what you're seeing here. And you're, you're just going to have a good time because you can make a lot of mistakes. Now, if you notice in the flask section, I only have one life flask. It's a low-level life flask that removes corrupting blood. Otherwise, I don't have my flasks. What you would normally set up is three resist flasks, a jade flask, a granite flask, all with char you gain charges when you're hit, and then make them auto go off at full, and you're going to be way, way tankier than what you're currently seeing here. Now, we also have an option to add Grace to this setup instead of using Herald of Ash and Herald of Purity. Or you could use Purity of Elements to round out your resists and be immune to shock and burn and brittle and all that good stuff. And we're just about running out of the timer here, but Delirium and getting it to like four stacks is pretty good. So we got those rewards. I couldn't actually break out that Legion, so we skipped that part. I, I want to be completely honest with you there. So you would not want to do that until you had way more damage for the Legion. Don't try to Legion farm on this. It's not going to go well for you. All right, we're showcasing another build now on this, or another map. Uh, on this map, now we have a bunch of mods that increase the life. So we have 128% more life from having Level 8 Awakener. Then we have the two other mods so we actually have the the map boss being at double the life a little bit over double the life now we are on a five link so we would be adding brutality and we would be adding that new node and that would basically put us at double damage from where we're at here i also am wearing a 5c weapon so we would be doing another probably 1.5 so pretty easy for us to get about three times the damage that you're seeing here now, I'm having a little bit of an inconsistency problem uh, with my pops because I only have 15% bleed, so I probably should invest in some more bleed nodes. By the way, the tree that I'm demoing right here assumes that I'm level 88. So uh, we have 12 nodes to do whatever we want with. We're using no jewels and no cluster jewels, which we could use to buff up the build. Now, I'm good at running in the dead end, so I just did that. And uh, But... Anyways, we're using uh, hemophilia gloves to do pops, and uh, it's it's pretty clear once we have the radius, when we're kind of going the, in the linear, we just kind of move around and we slam. It, everything else is automated until we get to the boss. I mean, we're, we're shouting, we're slamming, and we're leap slamming. That's about all there is to the key presses for the build. But you can go right into uh, tier 16s with this build, which is why I like it. This is why I'm league starting it because I don't require any like crazy stuff. 45 C, like I said, I could be into tier 16 maps. I'm going to be able to do damage. I probably will invest like 60 C actually get that six link and uh, it, it'll, it'll be a really good time. I'll probably drop Harold of Ash at that point and then I'll pick up vitality in the place of it. Now, on this boss, like I said, he has double HP. We're going to try to just full-on face tank him and see if we could do it. For the most part, it looks like we could face tank his abilities. I know a lot of you guys are going to be like, zero DPS, zero DPS, zero DPS. Now, a lot of people are showcasing unrealistic things. So, yes, it looks like zero DPS when we have double monster life and we're at one-third the damage of what we realistically would be at. It sure as heck looks like zero DPS now, doesn't it? But look, we could just face tank them. So anybody, even my dog, my parents' dog, my grandma could do this boss, some of these bosses with enough uh, HP here. You're not going to really probably die. Now this one has a scary one, 
and the map mod has increased AOE, so we are going to die right here. And this is a perfect opportunity to point out that you're going to be able to spam minus ones and my and portals if you become a member. Yeah, that's right. We have memberships here. And in live streams, when I die, you can spam this stuff at me. And I won't even be mad if you're a member. So there you go. Sign up for the membership. Now, uh, I just want to show that I didn't die again on this boss, and I eventually did it. And so now we're going to go to the Blight that I skipped earlier and just show you that we actually can do a Tier 16 Blight as well. I do have a League Starter Guide for this build that is solo self found viable, so check that out. It's in the description, and it's in the pinned comment. And it's taking forever. I skip Blights because, see, I feel like I can do an entire map like uh, an entire another map in the time it's going to take me to do the stupid blight. And I'd rather just do another map and not do blight per personally. But I mean, the most important thing is that you do what's fun for you in the game. There's really no long, wrong way to play the game as long as you are having fun. Okay. So keep that in mind. Always. If you don't want to play this, if you want to do a different setup, I mean, uh, I don't care. I just want you to have fun and I want you to have options and if you're struggling and want something that you know will work, I'm trying to prove that this will work on a budget to you so that you can have the best league star that you possibly can. That's all I'm trying to do on this channel. Take it or leave it. Hopefully tell a little bit of jokes here and there, get you to laugh, maybe grin, maybe you're having a rough day. That, that's what we're about here. All right, it's about uh, clear and uh, let's see what we got. And we got crap oils and we got a blighted map. So we'd be rich. Here's the gear I'm wearing. This is a 1C axe that I crafted the flat fizz for 4C. This is like 4 to 6C early on. These gloves are between 8 and 15C early on. This would be like 5C, and then I crafted it with myself with some essences. It doesn't even have life on it, so pretty cheap. Just a random throwaway helm that isn't that fantastic either. I mean, it's okay. Probably like 4C. All res amulet. Stats don't matter. The accuracy is nice. Just round out and resists. Some movement speeds and fire. Crafted lightning. So 3C boots with 3C craft. Some trash belt that I bought for two elks, and then I crafted that for one elk. And then we are using Life Tap with Leap Slam, Berserk, Ancestral War Chief, Herald of Ash, Herald of Purity, Sunder, Pulverize, Melee Fizz, Fist of War, Maim. Cast on damage taken, Molten Shell, Vulnerability, Determination, Intimidating Cry, Dread Banner, and Blood and Sand. Now, we can drop Herald of Purity and Herald of Ash for Grace if you would like to do that. Let's take a look at the skill tree. Now, we would have 40% more damage from the new node here. We basically just picked up Impale nodes. We picked up Fizz nodes. We picked up some Mana Reservation here. We have Fortify on hit from this Keystone. Rest is just life, rounding out our resists here. Uh, let's see here. Order of Ascendancies, we grab Undeniable, then Unbreakable, then Unstoppable, and then finally Unflitching. And it's we're not even using any jewels. So very straightforward build. Solo self found viable, except for the gloves that are a little bit rare, but the rest of everything is solo self found viable. Check out the leveling guide for this if you want to actually league start it.